Hello YouTube, in this video I am going to review the official Synergem Mod 12 release for OnePlus One. If you go to the settings menu, about phone, you can find I am using Synergem Mod 12. The version is YNG1DAS0YL, so, which is based on Android 5.0.2. And then you can see the kernel version here, build date and build number, everything is here. As of all, the interface is actually changing, even though they are using the same wallpaper from the CM11S, you can, you can see the entire change in the interface, it looks flat, more flat and it gives a good feeling. So let's talk about the features, like this is the Lollipop dialer app, nothing great in that and then here is the messaging app with the cell, cell broadcast option and then other settings used to find in almost all the ROMs and then here is the by default they have put this uh, Chrome and then here is the camera if you look at the, check the camera you can see it's just like the CM 11s camera itself the responsiveness is good you can change the camera modes from here by simply swiping it and then I can change to panorama mode from here and then take photo okay it's taking time to get the photo and then if I want video I can tap here and here is the front camera and then flash options other options here like timer and all and in photo settings you can see the settings size quality I can change to 100 whatever you want slow shutter speed whatever you can select I can also save uh, ROM image which is good touch focus duration and other options we use on CM11 and hey, from here in video you can see you can select the 4k video which is really good because this 4k video lacks in Oxygen OS and you can see time lapse focus mode everything is there and you can also use the power shutter option and then volume zoom left handed all these options we the other options we see on CM11S so that's about the camera and here, here you can see the Strom comes with the G apps is Google applications itself you don't need to flash it exclusively or manually the Strom comes with that also you can see the CM12 themes options here if you, you have to log into CM12 CM app accounts to use that one. I'll do it that later. And then if you got the gallery application, it's the same gallery application we saw in CM11s. You can see the albums on here. It looks good. And if you pull down the notification area, you can see the notification area here. And here's the quick pull down option. Tapping here, it will open the alarm and all. And Tapping here it will open the battery options from here. I can say change the battery mode. And then tapping here it will I can switch between the uses. And here is the default toggles here, like flashlight, normal toggles you saw. If you click on the settings menu, you can really see these are the regular settings you used to see in almost all CM based ROMs. Nothing especially there. And then sounds launch music app if you connect the headset display and lights all these options like double tap to wake double tap to sleep ambient display so talking about the reasons by pressing and ha pressing and holding the home button it will open the google now and pressing and holding the menu button will open the recent applications here and if you by tapping here I can easily clear all the recent applications so that's about uh, display and light here now go back to themes I told you we need to log into so we can see the theme here the main difference in theme is that we can also do this app theme or you can select different themes from here itself like I can select system it will be changing this 
team so let me hex over it will change again to clear that apptimer plus send hold it and then save it here it will go so that's about the apptimer and there is by default there is two teams are here I'll stick with the default one I can download more teams so there is a complete change in the team section and the notification area you can see app notifications you can customize notification access and then filter notifications in the lock screen all the default lock screen options there is no face lock unlocking and then in button if you need this kind of buttons you can opt for it and the design button design you can see it's changing it's good really looking good so that's the navigation button and if you need to customize all that you can do it from here like button and customization you can do the edits you can add more buttons and you can also do the navigation ring up thing that is this is the navigation ring you can also edit that thing so that's about the on screen keyboards and if you you can also customize the action for the physical keyboard here like power here is the power menu so if you want to add many options in the power menu you can add that so by tapping screenshot it will come here like you can see screenshot and then by long press and double tap action for the home home button menu button and volume button options are here so you can customize all these buttons next one is gestures like we have a normal three gestures are there or screen of gestures and then battery security and then security uses system profiles is there it's a status bar we can customize the clock style mpm and you can also see the customize the battery applications you if you want to see the percentage you can see that and here is the application manager as usual accounts privacy in privacy we have this privacy guard blacklist and then whisper push location option date and time accessibility if you look at the language options you can see it supports almost all the languages like a pen preset printing option and then you can also this performance improvements and you can, if you can also check for the updates here because it supports the OT update so that's all about the this ROM if you go to the menu option you can see audio effects so you can customize effects for different devices like Bluetooth headset and all there is a button application So it's like you can also back up the application settings which is really good it is an addition to cm12 and then clock sorry the calendar application calculator application clock downloads email file manager so this is the cm file manager gallery gmail google google plus hangouts maps messaging phone all the other options like photos these are the google main google applications and you have also this crank screencast application so you can record the screen just like in cm11s nothing new overall it gives me a good feeling and i think this update will give more stability and better battery performance i will do the battery review later overall i really like this update you should go and check it out if you are impatient you can flash it like manually if you want to know how to flash this cm12 on your oneplus one i'll put a link in the description to show you that just go and check it out that's it thanks for watching please subscribe for more